Hey, 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 loving you is a hard price to pay. Hey, 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 and hey to all of our readers and viewers out there in the internet. We are here to talk about Esther Peony and her song for Romania on a Sunday. We're going to talk about it on a Sunday, a Monday, and a Tuesday. Are you ready? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's do this! My heritage, your heritage, our heritage. Thank you for your support. In any case, we are here to talk about Romania. Esther Peony. A peony is among the most beautiful of flowers. And let me tell you, this... Stunning. Yes, this girl is in bloom. On a Sunday is so stirring, dramatic, and magical. It is like nothing else in this contest. Folk, pop, country with a little bit of modern, modern contemporary edge, stirring, mysterious. That video is a visual feast. Yeah. Oh. A smorgasbord of Bay Ute. Our girl grew up in Canada. It is just so... Mixing so up heritage. Yes. I'd love to see her DNA results. <laughs> in any case, what do you think of the song, Debbie? Oh, wow. You know, you know how we've talked about this so many times. This is really one entry that just unpacks and keeps unpacking there's so many new layers i love the fashion elements i love choreography that doesn't have a lot of movement you know yeah. it's it, she's kind of bringing new undertones to this she is stunning of course and what I'm loving the most is this revamp. How can you revamp a song and even make it better and yet keep it familiar? Yeah. It's really, really clever. I love the haunted feeling. I love the... Um, uh, what, what's that dog called? The fox? No, it's not Igor. Oh, is this, is this? His name is Igor. Husky, that's the word I'm looking for. I love the husky. Like in the frame, bro. Yeah. yeah, I really do like this, but I could go on about this for a long time. So I'm quite keen to hear what Chris thinks, because I haven't, yeah. What would you think of this? No, I do I do enjoy it. I do think that it's a really good, I like that it's it's got that kind of dark edge to it. Um, it makes me think of, it's like a better version of Ghost, Jamie Lee. Yes. It's kind of, if they had gone a little less, literal with the ghost staging and done something more like on a Sunday I think it would have done better um no I really like the video and if they can make those elements work on the Eurovision stage and we know like the the stage is going to be amazing they're gonna have all those options available to them I could see this doing really really well we know that Romania you know they were one of the most consistent countries in Eurovision last year was a blip um and I have no doubt that this will qualify I can see this very easily getting into the top 10 as well i think that she is a really really good live performer um and i agree it's it was the fact that it wasn't overdone at selection nationale um it, you know that there was just those subtle things that she was doing that really made it pop and stand out yeah i really enjoy it i think that it's a really really good return to form for romania and it's not going back to that dance track kind yes. of thing that they used to do and you know they kind of ran that into the ground a little bit towards the end I think this is really, really good. It's a very strong entry. The story of a woman dumped on a Sunday. She is still haunted by being left by this man. In the music video, and indeed in the staging at Selecta Nacional, Faithful. It, faithful. It, very faithful. Told the story, a haunted house, the darkness of her past. She now feels alone, okay? Alone in the spiritual wasteland. And yet peonies grow from dirt. From the dirt springs a beautiful flower, and that's what this is. Among Romania's most modern instruments, in recent years. This proves you don't have to shout or hit super high notes in order to make an impact. This you don't even have to move so much to make an impact. No, but to sing like she sings while sitting in a chair, yeah. do it right now. Your diaphragm has to be tight, okay? <laughs> no, honestly, I'm in pain right now and she was doing all this in the chair while also singing. I'm right sorry, it's through amazing. all those rehearsals, yeah. she's getting it. <laughs> she is getting it. I think this is going to the final. Mm. I don't oh, think, yeah. without a question. Jurors will respect this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Particularly if the jurors do not feel pressure to vote for someone just because they're the favorite, okay? <laughs> jurors will feel free to vote with their heart 
which is the more, you know, sometimes the braver decision is to vote how you feel rather than voting with what people expect you to feel. It's funny you mention that. For me, actually, the hardest thing is to suspend complete, um, you know, just to just to suspend and be in the moment. Yes. And in the moment, what I felt was my du bois, keeping yeah. it real. It's very difficult to have um, an opinion about something and then experience a turnaround. Yeah. And that is what On a Sunday does for me. Another thing I like about it is the metaphorical dimension to it. It's not literal. Yeah, a girl getting dumped by her lover is... We've heard it a thousand times before, but she tells the story in a different way. Yes. You've got to give her credit to that. And there's, there's, a sens there's a sensuality as well about oh, the performance, yes. which really, it comes across. She is very charismatic. She works those cam She works the camera. She knows what she's doing. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that it's a really, really good entry. At the end of the day, I can't... I can't find many faults. It doesn't excite me to the point where I think, oh, it's going to win. Right. I think it's a strong entry. I don't think it's a winner by any means of necessary. But at the same time, I don't think anything in Romania would have won, to be brutally honest. So, um, yeah, I think I think that it was a, it's a very, very good, solid entry. And I'm sure Romania will be, 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 uh, will be back in the final. If it oh, does. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That, like, no, that, that, that's not even being questioned now. And... One thing I like about this is that it surprised me in Bucharest and it still keeps surprising. It's one of my most played entries and I bet it will surprise a lot of people in Israel. The bookies haven't responded as favorably. It has a borderless quality. If you hear it, it could be from so many different markets and I think that's one of its strengths actually. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, I, the only thing really that we've had recently that um, yeah, I, I guess like having some kind of Romanian element, but almost like the horror and the darkness and, you know, you think mm -hmm. of that past of Romania and like the folklore tales that you hear of yeah, it. Yeah, Dracula. Yeah, yeah all of that does come through. So if they yeah. get that in the video, it's in the video, if they get that in the staging and make that kind of like Miss Havisham kind of feel yeah. as well, they could really play something really cool with that. So, um, yeah, no, there are there are folky elements sort of in there subtly. So, yeah, no, I think that I think that there is a lot of there are a lot of positive. It ticks a lot of boxes. Why do you think the bookies haven't responded, William? I'm slightly curious about that. I think maybe the bookies don't realize what we saw as like Nationale, because we saw the flat screen. When you mm. see the flat screen and what the Romanian director has in mind, you understand the full magic of this. And that's fine. That's fine. They will see it in Tel Aviv. In any case, it is time to go around and give our scores <laughs> and a prediction. Chris. I am giving this a 7 out of 10. Um, and again, that's a very strong 7 out of 10. I think it could almost be a 7.5 for me. But no, 7. I think it's a great entry. <laughs> I know, right? Um, no, I think the, uh, she, Esther, really good performer. I'm looking forward to seeing the staging and in full and seeing what you saw um, at Selection National. Yeah, very good, very, very good, and 100% back in the final. From there, I can see left-hand side of the scoreboard troubling the top 10. This is upping for me. It's, I'm giving it an 8. It's a solid 8. I think it's a really respectable entry. I've had, of course, greater insight because I've seen it play out on stage, and I know that they could even take it further. I think this is really solid. Yeah, this is one of the songs that has an earworm that you don't expect to sing this on loop or hear this on loop, but you end up hearing this on loop. There are a few so there are four or five songs this year where I wake up and I'm humming them. Yeah. And this is one of them. And I wouldn't think that. It's a great song, but like based on what it is, the darkness, I wouldn't expect myself to be humming it, but I do hum it. In any case, my girl is fine. She gets a nah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big fat nine. This wow. is going to be one that, you know what, place a bet to make this in the top ten because this is going to surprise. Mm -hmm. You can make some money off this for real, okay? Because this is going to go up, up, I'm up. just so happy that you didn't give it an eight because if you had, then of course we'd have been changed, you know, looking We would have had the, the same scores and it would have been like and, we actually you know, like thought about the score together course, in advance. But of course, our scores are locked by Ernst and Young and yes. we cannot change them. Independent. Because <laughs> we actually rarely agree. Yeah. And even if we're both hyped by something, it doesn't mean we give it the same score. Exactly. In any case, the overall Wee Wee Jury average compiled from our bloggers all over the world in places from Australia to America to Italy and beyond is... Oh! Oh, I think it's low. I think it's low. I think it's decent. Yeah, I mean, it's it means decent. it's going to the final. Still yeah, a good it score. It should get through the final with... Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah, it's respected. 
In yeah. any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you ready to pick some peonies or to ride that peony? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. Uh, you can like and subscribe to the channel. Yes, and scribble your comments down below and follow us and Esther Peony on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye.